Be sure to like the official Mike's Vehicle Spotlight page on Facebook today to keep informed on all the latest video updates, photos of future and past vehicles, and any other MVS related news. That's www.facebook.com slash Mike's Vehicle Spotlight. Today's MVS shines on this 1998 Chevrolet Corvette. The Chevrolet Corvette is one of the most recognized sports cars in automotive history. It was introduced for the 1953 model year as a two-door convertible that was only available in polo white with red interior and a black top. Only 300 units were produced. The Corvette has been through many changes throughout the 61 years that it has been on the market. Each generation has been significantly different from the last. The Corvette is currently all new for its 7th generation for 2014. Today's 5th generation Corvette, or simply known as the C5, debuted for the 1997 model year. It came equipped with a new engine, a rear mounted transaxle, and a new sleek and smooth exterior built from sheet molded composite fiberglass. The 1998 model year introduced the first Corvette convertible to offer a trunk since 1962 and offered a new active handling system as an option. The last model year for the C5 was 2004. The C5 was the last Corvette to offer retractable halogen headlamps. The retractable headlamps first debuted for the 1963 model year on the second generation Corvette. The smooth hood ends with the return of the traditional crossed flags logo. The front end includes your amber marker and daytime running lamps, and several air dams with two optional projector fog lamps placed within them. The front license plate holder also included a color matching Corvette nameplate. The C5 was 179.7 inches long and stands at 47.7 inches tall. Today's Corvette is featured in the light carmine red metallic exterior color. The side mirrors are color matching, and the mirrors themselves are fully powered as well as heated. The door handles are also color matching. Another interesting thing that I never even knew about, and I don't know exactly how many GM vehicles have this feature from this time period, but on the keyless entry remote, there's a switch that says passive. And if it's switched over to the arm position, basically I could walk up to the Corvette and the, the doors will automatically unlock as I get near. So basically it's like the keyless entry of today but this actually came out many years ago and uh, it's something I had never actually even knew about. See you just heard it switch. Today's manual convertible top features a heated rear glass window.
you'll find air extractors placed behind both front wheels. Following them are the nicely sculpted body panels. Today's Corvette includes these optional custom sport magnesium rims with 17-inch tires up front and 18-inch tires in the rear. Four-wheel disc brakes with analog and traction control systems came equipped as standard. Today's Corvette also includes these optional red brake calipers. The quad tail lamps have been a Corvette tradition since the second generation. The crossed flags are also placed on the deck lid. The rear bumper includes an aluminized stainless steel exhaust system. The interior of the C5 offered two passengers 42.7 inches of leg room, 55.3 inches of shoulder room, 54.2 inches of hip room, and 37.6 inches of headroom. Dual front airbags came equipped as standard safety equipment. Today's Corvette includes these light oak leather seats. The driver's seat is six-way powered. Scotchgard protection was also applied on the floor mats and carpeting on all C Vives as standard. The interior door trim includes your large door handle, an air bezel placed on the driver's door, your driver's seat preset controls, mirror controls, door lock and window controls all placed on the armrest. The well-designed dashboard offered all controls in a nicely ordered fashion. The Passkey 2 theft deterrent system came equipped on all C5s. The driver is placed in front of a six-piece gauge cluster that includes a 7,000 RPM tack, a 200 mile per hour speedometer, and gauges for your oil pressure, coolant temperature, charging voltage, and fuel level. To the left of the gauge cluster, sits your interior dimmer switch.
to the right sits the controls for your driver information center. It allows you to view additional fuel information, your digital gauge statistics, vehicle mileage with trip computers and timers, allows you to customize your vehicle's programmable features, and switch between English or metric formats. It is also used to display any vehicle alerts. To the left of the steering column sit your fog lamp and trunk release controls. Your headlamp and cruise controls are placed on the turn signal stock. Your wiper controls make up the opposite stock. The driver grabs on to a leather wrapped four spoke steering wheel. Speed sensitive power steering came equipped as standard. Your emergency hazards are placed next to the single air bezel. Today's Corvette includes this optional AM, FM, CD player backed by a Bose sound system. This system also includes speed sensitive volume and automatic tone control. Down below sits the optional dual zone automatic climate controls. The center display will also give you the outside temperature. The bottom of the center stack includes a hidden cigarette lighter and ashtray. The shifter is leather wrapped and is completed with a leather boot. Next to the shifter sits one hidden cup holder. Your handbrake is placed towards the back of the console. And behind the shifter sits your traction control override. and your ride control selector, 
that lets you choose between tour, sport, or performance ride modes. The armrest opens up to a locking storage compartment. Once inside, you'll find a 12 volt power outlet and your fuel filler door release. The glove compartment is nicely sized. The ceiling includes sun visors with lighted vanity mirrors. Behind both sun visors sit the two latch handles for the convertible top. To lower the top, unlock both of the latch handles. Then, carefully fold up the top and push the storage compartment release button located behind the driver's seat. Unfold the top and then carefully lower it into the compartment. The C5 is now ready for some fun in the sun. The trunk of the C5 can carry up to 13.9 cubic feet of cargo with the top up and 11.2 cubic feet with the top down. Under the floor sits a storage compartment with the optional 12 disc CD changer located inside. There are also two additional storage compartments located on both sides. The C5 was powered by the 5.7 liter 16 valve LS1 V8 that produces 345 horsepower and 350 pound feet of torque. This engine makes an EPA estimated 17 miles per gallon in the city and 25 miles per gallon on the highway. The C5 also included a 19.1 gallon fuel tank.
The C5 was driven through a four-speed automatic transmission. A six-speed manual transmission was optional. Okay, we'll go ahead and take a short test drive on this 1998 Chevrolet Corvette just around the dealership lot. Ever since I was a kid, it's always been a dream of mine to actually drive this generation Corvette because this is probably, other than the, the latest generation uh, that was out before the brand new one, this was my favorite generation of Corvette. I know it's hard to tell when you're driving just around the, the dealership lot at a low speed, but... The ride's actually, as of right now, quite soft. Not jittery at all. The steering's very responsive and firm. up there. This car would definitely be fun to have out on the road. car. We'll just go back up this way. It needs to be parked over here anyway. This is where I gotta leave it. That concludes the test drive portion. And that concludes today's MVS on the 1998 Chevrolet Corvette. I'm Michael Adams, and I'll see you guys next time.